Hi everyone, in today's video I'm taking you along as we deep clean my kitchen oven. We are going to clean it from the top to the bottom. We're cleaning the inside and the outside and behind it and underneath of it we're just giving it a good old deep clean. I don't think this oven has been cleaned in at least three years since we have lived here. So probably even longer than that and it definitely needed it as you can see. So the first thing that I did was I sprayed on this Easy Off which I use this on my grill and it worked really well outside, but then bringing it inside, I wasn't so sure. It's supposed to be fume free, but let me tell you, it was not fume free. So just be aware of that if you decide to use Easy Off. So I have to tell you that I just recently realized that you can lift the top of your stove lid open like this to clean it. I, I would say within the last two years is when I figured this out. So anyways, I enjoy cleaning my stove top this way. It makes it much easier to get all the little pieces that fall underneath of the stove burners. This drawer on the bottom of my oven gets so many crumbs in it just from opening the oven door. And so as you can see, it definitely needed to be cleaned out. So I wiped out all the crumbs and then there was still a lot that was just stuck in the little crevice area. And a couple of people have left comments saying to use a toothpick to get into these little tiny areas that you can't clean. And so I decided to finally try this little tip out that you all shared with me and it worked so well. Look at all of the crumbs that are coming out that I couldn't get with just a rag. So this little toothpick trick is really a great trick to keep in your mind just for when you need it and I definitely use it in this area and I use it in a couple other areas on the stove that you'll see me um, just getting just all those little grease spots and little areas that just collect the grease that are hard to get with just a simple rag. To clean the front of my oven, I just used my microfiber cleaning cloths. I've been using these for years. You use the first one to just kind of clean up any gunk that's on the mirror or window or whatever glass top that you're cleaning, and then you use the white one to buff it all out, and it never leaves streaks. I love these cleaning cloths.
My stovetop um, burner drip pans have definitely seen better days. I can admit that. And I could not get all of the burnt on blackness out of these pans. I tried my best. I've tried so many different things throughout the years. I've used baking soda and vinegar. I've used um, my barkeeper's friend, which is a favorite cleaning cleaner of mine. This time I used Bon Ami because that's what I had on hand, but really I just cannot get them to be perfect. And that's something that I've just learned is instead of being perfect, as long as it is good enough, that works. So um, probably I just need to purchase some new ones, but for now, this is what we are working with. So after letting the easy off sit for, I would say a little over an hour, I went ahead and wiped it down. As you can see, here's all this grease and just grime that has built up. And I used one of my Scotch-Brite heavy duty scrub sponges. These are one of my favorites. I always use these to clean, especially when I have a hard, um, you know, greasy, grimy area to clean up. These are perfect for that. So again, I didn't get it perfectly, but it sure looks a whole lot better than what it did. And I'm pretty happy with the end result, even if it's not perfect. The next day I did go over it with some baking soda and water paste just to see if I could get any more of the extra little grime pieces off and I really couldn't. Nothing else was coming off even with the baking soda. So I got this wiped off and then just decided that was good enough. So the easy off did not work very well on my oven racks and I definitely had a lot of crud still left on them. So I spent some time scrubbing them with some baking soda and vinegar and um, it still wasn't coming off very well. And so I decided to try this aluminum foil trick, which I've seen where you just ball up um, a little bit of aluminum foil and you use that to scrub off any of the crud that's left on the oven racks. And that did work. I did get kind of some last minute little pieces um, to fall off, but it definitely wasn't perfect, but it was a whole lot better than what it was before. So here's a quick before of my oven, and just you can see how bad it was and how far I came. It looks so much better now. I'm so much happier with this cleaner oven. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and that it gave you a lot of inspiration. One last quick look at my dirty oven racks, and they definitely came a long way too. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.